Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I hope you can hear me. The camera's on auto again. I don't care to figure it out. But Bruce and I are here today to do a piercing video, as you can see by the title. So if you want to learn about... <coughs> my voice is breaking up like a little boy. <laughs> if you care to learn about all my piercings, my experience, my healing process, everything when I got them. Stay tuned for this video. Thanks. Bye. Okay. Just and I are back. He's just so cute. How will I ever? Okay. I'm back and alone. So let's get started. So I have this list that I did so long ago. I had to dig it out, find it in the trenches, whatever the saying is, but I found it. <laughs> so I guess I'll start from the earliest piercing, which were my lobes, my ear lobes. I got them done when I was a wee little baby. Thank you, mom, for the piercing addiction. This is all your fault. When you look at my holes in my ear and you hate my gauges, you started this. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Actually, my piercing addiction started in middle school and that's when I got my next year's things. I kind of got a lot of them around this time. Shout out to Mariah Robbins. I'll link her new music video wherever. She's freaking phenomenal. She's gonna be famous one day, I already know it. But she did a lot of my piercings. We were really bad in middle school. So I remember my double helix. I actually hate those earrings. If you want them, let me know they come it's a whole pack i only bought them because they were on sale and i need the backs because i frequently lose my helixes yeah anyways she did them in the yearbook closet in middle school with a safety pin i don't recommend you do any of your piercings with a safety pin or with a piercing gun go to a professional but we were young and um and having a good time so she did those at this and then also she did these i have two next to my gauges and she did those i held snow against my ear and she did them and we did them and they're still open i don't like to wear them because i stretch my ears and it's just too crowded so mariah did those my double helix and my triple lobe <laughs> i'm also going to talk about what I don't have in, what closed. I did snake bites and I did my nose ring. I'll try to insert pictures from me in middle school with a safety pin in my nose and a safety pin in my mouth, but my mom quickly got home and almost ripped them out of my face. So that is why I don't have those anymore. Honestly, I can't really talk about the pain with those because I was young. I don't really remember. We used snow to numb the pain. It was so long ago, I don't even remember the healing process. Then I graduated middle school and went into high school and here comes more piercings, of course. Then I had gotten my belly button done. Can you see it? Is it focusing? <laughs> I got my belly button done, Dylan did that. He was trying to do a piercing apprenticeship and yeah, so he did that. I ended up going to jail. If you want that story, like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> we can talk about that. I ended up going to jail and I had to take out my piercing and it closed. So there's that. Dylan also did another one of my piercings, but we won't be talking about that one. I'm sure you know if we grew up in the same town because that was the talk of the town for a while. If you want to know more about that piercing, I may make one depending on how much pain I want to cause my mother. So, My belly button was super easy when Dylan did it. Closed. Then I had to go back and get it done, redone. He ran out of needles so I had to go back and I got it done at Tatfu Tattoo and it hurt really bad getting it redone because of the scar tissue and it did get infected and I got a freaking abscess and I had to pop the abscess with a safety pin and then it was like a nightmare 
and it would rub Neosporin on it, which the Neosporin and you're not supposed to do this, the Neosporin and the alcohol helped. I think it's because I had an abscess and I took it out, rubbed it, put it back in. So my belly button was a wee bit of a nightmare, but it's healed now. It's never, I never take it out. This red jewelry that I have in was the one that I actually got it pierced with. I've tried to do the cute dangly ones, the ones with the flowers. I have a lot of jewelry and they're uncomfortable. I am big on comfortability, hence why half the time my double helix, my tongue, and my other ones are not in. So yeah, that was high school. And then I turned 18. Oh my God, legally was allowed to do this. Well, I guess, yeah, my belly button, I did legally. But yeah, I turned 18 and then I got my tongue done. On my birthday, I went with Taylor, not my boyfriend Taylor, Taylor from high school to get my tongue pierced because I really wanted to get it done. Yeah, this thing has chipped almost every single one of my teeth. It never closes for me. I think people were telling me that their tongue closes so fast if they take it out. You, if you pull on it, if you yank it, you don't. You could stick a, a bigger gauge earring in there and then it'll prevent it from closing so quickly. I actually don't ever really wear this often because First off, it's unflattering. I cannot stop playing with it. From the side, I'm like, and everyone thinks I'm like smoking crack or something. So yeah, and also your food isn't as savory with your tongue piercing. Cause like when you have a lollipop, you can't really like wrap your tongue around it. And it always falls out, always. Probably cause I mess with it so much, but then I'm sw swallowing balls. And I'll, I, I spend so much money on tongue rings that sometimes I'll like make myself gag and it'll shoot out <laughs> just so I can salvage my ball. I know that's disgusting. TMI, I'm telling you the truth. My tongue did not hurt at all. It was just a lot of pressure, really. What hurt was the clamp and you like drool a little, but really like them putting the needle in was not like, ow, you didn't jump. It was just like, I felt every single second of that no pain at all not sure why because when you bite your tongue it freaking hurts they tell you to not smoke they tell you to not drink and they tell you to do all these things to keep it clean and i didn't do a single one of those things i had a, i used to smoke cigarettes i used to smoke a lot of tobacco i no longer do claps for america she gave that up in 2020 so anyway i smoked a cig as soon as i walked out of birch i said and i went and got drunk later that day i was 18 if you knew me at 18 we are two totally different people <laughs> those days are retired buried six feet underground but yeah i didn't have any issues with it not a single one and just had to do a lot of ices and then later on a lot of my friends annie nasha all my friends we're all like, let's go to Tapu and get piercings. So, and we saw Adriana there. Adriana, I hope you remember this, but we were all there, still 18, and I got my days done. You see? I got that done with them. It was a very loud, super loud, and it wasn't painful, but it was loud. But I ended up getting two keloids on this thing on each side, and I have pictures from everything. I'll try to insert them so you can see cool side effects. If I can do it. Dee, 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 dee. I got huge keloids on them. They were so infected. It was infected, infected, infected forever. Finally, I could not get that thing to heal. I did the tea tree oil. I did the sea salt sprays. I kept it clean. It was giving me a headache. I couldn't even like smile or move because like everything on the side of my head hurt. It was awful, awful. I ended up going back to Tafu and I said, take this out, take this out. And he was like, I can't take it out because it was oozing so bad. It'll close the passage of drainage and it'll be worse. So he's like, let's try to clear the infection a little. He told me to clean it with alcohol peroxide. Your most piercers tell you not to do that, but he told me to do that. And then once it got better, he said to come back and he'd take it out. I started doing that and guess what? It healed so yeah it healed but it was a nightmare but it's cute now <laughs> I cooled off on the piercings for a while yeah until Friday the 13th this was in 2017 
and I ended up getting these ones done, my industrial and my conch at the same time. I don't know if it's focusing, but yeah. Shout out to Dan. I originally was like, I'm gonna go get my conch done because I heard stories that were horrible. <laughs> I cannot talk. And people were telling me to not get it. And I'd see people and they'd have huge keloids and it would just be so ugly. And I always wanted one, but I was like, I don't want mine to look like that. So Dan did my conch and it was so cute because when I put a ring in it, I'm not sure if you can see if it's focusing or not, but my ear kind of goes in a little. So when my conch is in a, it has a hoop, it gives the illusion that it's pinching and it looks so adorable. But it fell out. I had put this piercing in it from a different area to keep it open because it, 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 this happened while I was on vacation in Miami and I did not have time to go handle that. So yeah, as I was in there, I was like, I've always wanted my industrial done, but X, Y, and Z. And he was like, let's do it. He's like, give it a shot. Let's do it. And I'm like, do I have to put my name back on the list? And he's like, you're already in the chair. Let's do this. So. I had no issue with my conch, by the way. It healed within a few days. It was so easy, the easiest piercing ever. I think it's because it just like did not move because my ear anatomy was perfect for it. And it was great, it was great. It struggled a little bit. It still has like a piece of scar tissue on this side. I'm not sure if the camera is focusing, but yeah. That one, it was kind of difficult to uh, maintain, but it healed. Then I almost ripped it out with the car door. I was getting in and the window did not have, some cars don't have like a frame outside the window and the window was up and I went to go get in and it just got somehow got in my ear and pulled it and I just saw blood and I freaked out. I was like, is my ear in two pieces? Blood was dripping down my face. I got home, I was panicking. My brother and my boyfriend were there and they were like, sit down. And I was like, just crying because I thought my ear would be split somewhere. And I was just like, is my ear in two pieces? And they were like, your ear's not in two pieces. They cleaned it up for me and it was fine. But yeah, it's just in the way a lot. And when you sleep, you put pressure there. So yeah, it's just kind of painful, but it's super cute. If you think you're gonna get this and put all these kind of cute jewelries in, like your belly button, let me be the first one to tell you that you are not because it is uncomfortable. So you're not gonna give up comfortability for cuteness, I swear to you there. Those didn't really hurt. They were just loud because they're in your ear, uncomfortable. <laughs> I put terrible for the healing process for the <laughs> industrial because it gets caught everything and you really have to be spot on with the tea tree oil so you don't get any keloids or bumps piercing bumps. Then I had gotten my tragus after that. This was in 2020. It was this one. Spur of the moment I said, on a piercing. So I drove to Dan and Dan did it. And it's cute. <laughs> he did it and it's so cute. If you want to get a piercing, I recommend you get that. Everyone has these little ear clits. I call them ear clits. Get your ear clit done. Get all your clits done. <laughs> just kidding <laughs> but yeah super cute I think it looks cute it's so adorable I love when girls have or guys I love when people they thems everyone gets their tray gets done I actually plan on getting this one done because I love it so much when it pokes out of my hair so yeah I might do that then I ended up getting something else done so if you want another video about those <laughs> tell me and maybe I'll build up the courage to do that. Stony, Jesse, Stony, Jessica, Stony, Kylie and I got super drunk, girls day, happy hour, and they wanted tattoos and I don't have a single tattoos, don't plan on getting any tattoos, not my thing. And we, I was like, I'll get piercing with you. So piercings while you guys do that. And I ended up wanting my rook on this side because this ear is kind of full so I thought maybe a rook would look cute and I also had gotten a flat at the time you see that little scar dot right there yeah I ended up getting those done then my flat my gosh 
was painful. And not only that, it fell out and by the time I noticed it was closed. And it was it was fine because it was healing crooked, so instead of it the stud laying directly on it, the stud was the earring was kind of healing diagonally, so the stud was like crooked because of me laying on it. Because I was like, I don't care, I'm gonna lay on it. And yeah, so I'm gonna have to probably get that redone because I really thought it was cute. It was just like dee, dainty and cute. And my rook, man, the piercings inside my ear, other than my conch, have given me a lot of grief. My rook was infected for a super long time. And recently I was put on for my dog bite and it healed. And I also got the back trim for my lip. And I was putting it on my ear so it's healed now it is a little bit swollen still but there's no bumps it looks great this one on the other hand you can see if it's focusing that my rook is like really skinny so I hope it goes back to being that skinny both those piercings were just a lot wow so I'm just about done with editing the video and I completely forgot to talk about my gauges kind of important right so they are double zeros and I remember I started gauging them when I moved into the dorms because I needed to be away from my family <laughs> I ordered the tapers and the plugs on Amazon the pack was like starting from just a normal piercing to double zeros and it was about 20 bucks. I don't remember exactly how long it took me to do the whole process, but I know it was about a year. I think maybe a little bit less than that. And I was super secretive about it because, well, one, I remember gauges weren't really acceptable at this time. Nobody I knew other than Krista, who I worked with, had gauges. When you stretch them, they look really ugly and swollen. Like it really looks so ugly. So I remember I'd hide them from my mom and I would see her. I'd put my hair up or make sure I had my hair in front. I actually hid them from everyone. Not a lot of people saw them. And I remember when I was finally done and had earrings that I actually liked in them. I always just keep the acrylic ones like this because when you sleep on them or whatever, just comfortability, I never really wear plugs. But I remember I had black acrylic ones in it and my mom was like, are those holes in your ear? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> she hadn't noticed until I was completely done. So I just remember using petroleum jelly and putting it in whenever my plugs would start falling out or whenever I felt like it was time to go up, I would put a different size in. And it was very, very painful. I don't recommend you have anyone else do it for you because they could just like pop or stretch or rip them through and that's not how you want to do it. You actually want to go super slow and wait until one size heals before you go up. I guess I'll take them out for you to show you. One of my ears, I believe, let's see. Okay, so this one healed great. My ear around the hole is like pretty even. That's because I took my time with that one. And there's always one that stretches easier th than the other one. But I had trouble with this. I hated it because one size was always bigger than the other and I wanted it to so bad to be the same. But then I also was just impatient and wanted to get there. So with this one, I'm not sure if you can tell, but there's like, it's just uneven. The circle is crooked and this side of my lobe has a little less meat on it. Honestly, it doesn't even really matter because no one can tell but me. But if you ever plan on stretching your ears and having them go back to normal, you would re you really want to do it as gentle as possible. Now I've had my gauges in for since I was 18, so over eight years now. My ears will never go back to normal, which is totally okay, but there's my gauge process nothing too special about it i don't know i just get kind of guess i forgot to include it because this was a piercing video these are already pierced i just kind of stretched them myself there wasn't any crazy experience with them so yeah 
I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Bye! Uh, my advice for you guys, if you want to get a, a piercing, I put some advice for you, is don't go on Pinterest. I mean, look up the locations of the piercings on Google or whatever, but don't go on Pinterest and say, that looks cute on her, I want to get that. That looks cute on them, I want to get that. No, because your anatomy of your ear is different. So if you go and you get that and you try to put a hoop and your earlobe is just too fat, it's going to pull depending on if your piercer gets it right. Dan, he always gets it right. <laughs> but if your piercer gets it right, then it's going to pull and it's going to get a piercing bump and it's just going to look ugly. If you don't have enough skin for your industrial, don't get it. It's just going to it's just going to migrate and it's going to fall. Have one of your friends or your family take a picture of your ear and look at where it would look cute because that is what a lot of famous piercers do is you walk in there and you say, do whatever, and they work their magic and they just pick a good spot for your ear that the piercing will heal nicely and it'll look cute. Like if you have a little nudge on your cartilage that goes out a little bit, I'm sure piercing will look great there. Comfortability. I know I've said this a lot. These, just because I lay on them, and I'm not someone who wants to take out their jewelry and put it back in and take it out. I just want something that's cute and comfortable. So don't get anything crazy right now in the pandemic. If you still have to wear a mask every day, do not go get your cartilage done. You'll rip it out. Just be patient and wait. It'll always be there unless you're super careful and you want to be super careful, but it's just not fun. Oh, don't spend so much money on those sprays at the tattoo shops. For God's sakes, get a gallon and get some sea salt and make it yourself <laughs> if you plan on getting a lot of piercings. Then you can get those little travel sprays for a dollar and you can just make your own. And you can soak it if you're, if you're soaking it anywhere. You can soak it. And you don't have to worry about buying more. Yeah, I guess that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch me love you guys and i hope you're doing good